Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're running the Thunderdome. And we're with a crew. We've got Jack, we've got Nightmares, we've got uh, Firehouse and Deluxe Bullet. And we're going to run the T92 Thunderdome. Why? Because we feel like lobbing some Volkswagens at some people. That's why you run the Thunderdome. You don't run it because it's the most accurate tank in the game. You run it because when it hits people, it makes them cry. That's that's why you run the T92. So, we're on Great Wall, which is not the best map for this. However, it does tend to leave a lot of people all bunched up. Which can be very nice when you're in a T92. Especially when you're generally like me. When you're in the T92, you're, you're just spamming Super Juicies. Why? Because I want to be able to splash you for 500 from 20 feet out. <laughs> because that's the way this tank works. If it hits within 20 feet of you, you're going to know it. 240 millimeters of just pure awesomeness coming down near you. Now, that being said, it does have like a 33, 35 second load time, something like that. It's pretty ridiculous. And you're going to see me right off the bat get a little bit cocky. And I'm like, hey, who wants to see me take out an Artie right off the bat? Because I'm just going to fire right where I normally sit. And when I say I'm getting a little bit cocky, if I had waited two seconds longer, I would have been able to kill the guy. Fine. Shot out. And nothing. And there's his shot. If I had just waited another half a second... Okay, maybe it was, you know, four seconds. But I did call in his location, and he did get nailed. So, that's the good news. And I'm not going to sit there and wait and look and try to get another arty for very long. Because we have targets located. They do have an arty spotted. It's a T-92, zooming in. That T-10 should be able to just absolutely wreck him, so he's going to die. Ready to fire, H-E round. And indeed, he does. So two of their arties are down right off the bat. Now our team's got to be happy about that. We've got an E5 and a 152 ISU. So I'm going to put the shot out on a 152. Why? Because he's a tier 8 and a tier 10 match. And we splash him because there's a tree near him. And we hit him for over two-thirds of his health for 744. He's also tracked up in top, and now he's dead. So we got all the damage from that guy because I tracked him right on top of the hill. So now we've got these guys moving up the back side of the hill. We got an E-Hundo, and we've got an IS-3. So I'm going to... Or no, that ain't an IS-3. What, what is that? IS-4. Sorry about that. And a T-10. Well, the t 10 is the easiest target for me to hit due to the wall, so shot out. And we splashed both of them. That's the splash damage that I love from this tank. Like I managed to splash both of those guys. Unfortunately, there's not enough people up there to actually do any damage about splashing both those guys. Okay, so I relocate to the right so that I can get some better shots up on the hill. And I then turn. And, unfortunately, I cannot hit those guys. I was hoping I could, but I just do not have the gun arc to, to hit them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over. I can't hit that guy. And I can't hit that guy, but I can hit this M103. Guess what happens when a T-92 hits an M103? Well, he's been tagged quite a few times, so this should be it. Shot out. And he's dead. No surprise there. I mean, the guy literally didn't have much left anyway. I think we hit him for uh, 684. Sounds about right. Their E5 manages to kill off our guy. And we're looking back. T28's on top of the hill. We have a black edition Luva I believe or a low whichever way you say it and shot out on the T28 and, and I hit Spread seven truck or seven trees and managed to kill somebody I didn't even see which I'm pretty sure was the E5 so now this this Lua 
or low or whatever you want to call it, Lerva, whatever it is, is now 1v1 a T28 and luckily one of our arties track him and that makes the low have a nice easy day. Now we're still in the lead, but anything can happen in the world of tanks. We all know this. So we have a stage two 4005 sitting here not doing anything because he's AFK. He's literally not here. But the enemy doesn't know that. And what happens when enemies see a dead tank or a tank that they could easily get damage on? They stop. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. Now, even though we are technically in the lead, we have one tank that's not even playing and the rest of our guys are all low health, uh, relatively speaking, to the rest of their team. So we've got to do everything we can to help. Now, I move forward because the left side completely fell. And also, there's these guys coming straight down. Now, we have this IS-4 right here that came off the hill. I move up to take a shot. And I'm aiming in. And our guy nails him. It looked like maybe Nightmares got him. And so I'm like, all right, so he's good to go for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and turn my big booty around. Head back the other direction. And we have a heavy tank closing in on our artillery. He disappears. Surely our M55 can take him down. He's got no health left and he gets him. Artie for the win. Now the other heavy tank is right there as well. But I can't I can't sit there all day because another heavy tank has popped up on my left side and started harassing my loot or low or whatever you want to call the thing <laughs> the L word or that not the TV show <laughs> all right so this E100 is coming after this low all right this is a no contest for sure this low has no chance of winning this battle but I'm a T92 so shout out 910 damage tracked him right in front of me now if I was smart I would have waited and this low is going to pull up He's going to try to put a shot in the back of him. He's got a great gun. He's guaranteed to pin the back of that e Hundo, But he doesn't. He doesn't actually shoot. There he goes. He got him that time. 300 damage. Now, I can't hit that e Hundo where he's at. So I'm hoping this low can take him down. I pull up a little bit so I can get a better shot on the e Hundo. Zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. Please don't die low. I need your eyes. And shot out. And we got him. 289 to finish him off. We're up to three kills. All right. Now, where did that other heavy tank go? We know he was there. I'm the last already alive, so I know he's got to be on top of me. And sure enough, there he is. IS-3 right on top of our 4005, just farming that damage. He realized pretty quick that that 4005 wasn't paying attention, or at least wasn't, wasn't alive or in game or whatever you want to call it but what he doesn't what he does here is he comes towards me and I'm in a T92 and he lets his arty finish the other guy pretty smart generally speaking but look I don't have the gun traverse to hit him right here so I charge him I'm like screw it I'm going in and there's the shot from the 240 millimeter howitzer for the game now all that's left is one arty versus three of us now you can see me getting a little bit crazy and backing up a little bit weird and you're probably wondering, well, why the heck's he doing that? Well, that already just smacked that 4005, so I know for a fact that he could hit me right here. So I ain't about to let him hit me. We're going to relocate to the other side of the, uh, the mountain, the other side of the wall, whatever you want to say, and we're going to try to get a shot on this arty. Now I'm pretty sure I know where the arty's at. But you never know. Maybe he relocated the entire time, and I want to make sure that we get somebody to spot him. So my team's going right. I'm going to go left. And we're just going to go around the, the bend here. Yeah, I know. That's a song, too. I seem to put songs in everything I say. Have you guys noticed that? Like, I am always talking in songs. But I can't help it. I'm a music guy. I love music. I love all kinds of music. Mostly old stuff, though, because I'm old. Well, I'm only 30, but I'm still old. Old at heart, which is even worse, I think. <laughs> anyway, 
So we've relocated to this far left side here. We have yet to be spotted or spot anything, so we can safely assume that that already is back at their base. So I'm just going to get here, and I'm going to get into position and get ready to shot out or shoot out at anything that's Throw over the there. Camo, I'm shooting super juicies, and this arty will only have a maximum of like 500 health. So if I hit anywhere within 20 feet of him, he's dead. So I'm looking around that far right side because generally speaking that's where people are unless they're in my spot and you can see he's sitting right where my shot landed earlier. <laughs> Funny how that works, isn't it? A lot of arties do that. They'll see where a shot landed and they'll assume another artie won't shoot it again. At least not unless they're spotted on the same spot. So shot out. Fire. Now like I said, anything within 20 feet is going to kill that guy. 550 hit points he has. So we managed to get him out of the game. We end up with five kills, nine hits. That should be a pretty good game. And 5,000 damage. That's a pretty good game. As you can see, the bull guy's all towards the top again. So if you like what we're doing, punch that like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.